Hi, I'm Jessica Verhagen. I'm the CEO of Hydra Energy. I've got a converted truck behind me. It's retrofit to run on hydrogen and co-combust with diesel. It is a, a big day for us. It's our first delivery of one of these trucks to a paying customer up here in Prince George. I'm gonna walk over and show you where is the hydrogen. It's just back here. You'll see a tank array, carbon fiber wrapped tanks holding hydrogen at a higher pressure of 350 bar. The, the tanks have a nozzle here that we take off. We put a pump just like you'd put a pump for diesel, except it's a hydrogen nozzle. It's filling up from the bottom. The tanks are all connected. So you just put one pump here, goes all the way up through that rack. Uh, and then it's dispensed to the engine through a series of tubing that's bringing it to the front of the truck, which I'll show you now. Okay, so here we are in the front of the Hydra converted truck. It's a retrofit, so it's running on a up to 40% hydrogen, 60% diesel. You can see the tubing that we showed you at the back is coming forward to the front of the truck here. And then we've got the retrofit kit installed. Uh, very small pieces. This is a two day job to do the tanks that I showed you at the back. This front piece, the wiring harness and the engine control units that I'll show you next. Uh, the way that it's done is to not modify the engine block really important to fleets to not modify the engine block because that means it would void the base warranty they're concerned of course number one about price which we alleviate in our business model by not charging them for the retrofit this retrofit is done at hydra's expense the fleet pays just for the hydrogen fuel that they're burning same price as diesel or even a little bit under that so I'm going to take you to the front of the truck and show you uh, how we control hydrogen injection. All right, we're about to hop into this large wood truck here. I'm going to take you inside. As you can see, everything looks pretty similar to what you would have in a diesel truck. The only difference is this display screen that you see here. So over here is the display. So that's the only thing that you're going to see that's different in a normal diesel truck. You'll have this display here. And it's like a fuel gauge, it's showing you here's empty, here's full, this is how much hydrogen you've got left in the hydrogen tanks that we showed you earlier. And then this piece here is showing you how much hydrogen is injected as a percentage. And this isn't by volume, this is by energy, which is much more. And the importance of this aspect is it connects to an engine control unit that is controlling those injectors that we showed when we were just on top of the engine block there those injectors are timing when to put hydrogen in to get the optimal injection for fuel efficiency. So you don't lose out on any performance that you would have gotten from diesel. You're getting the exact same power, torque, uh, really comparable performance to what you would have on a diesel truck. I'm Joe Bork. I'm the Chief Technical Officer with Hydra Energy. Um, I've been in the business of hydrogen for an excess of 30 years now as it applies to a motor fuel. So we're gonna talk about uh, this Freightliner truck we've uh, brought here. And uh, we basically, our, our equipment can basically consists of, of, of three different parts. The hydrogen storage, the control, which is inside the cab, and the delivery, which is under the hood that we'll go to last. The hydrogen storage consists of six pressurized tanks. We use uh, gaseous hydrogen as the fuel. We have a total of 30 kilograms of hydrogen onboard storage. That equates to about 120 liters of diesel fuel. So with the injection of the diesel into the engine, we're extending the range of the vehicle. Plus we're enhancing the combustion and of course hydrogen having no carbon. There's no emissions from the hydrogen as a motor fuel. The um, system is a self-controlling um, self system in that the safety is incorporated into it. If there's any type of fault that our controller sees, it automatically shuts the hydrogen system down and you have no more hydrogen gas released anywhere. And we'll, uh, We'll get, uh, we'll get Botter later, uh, just, just after I'm finished, he'll deal with, uh, with the control system, which, uh, as I said, is inside the cab. But uh, we'll go to the delivery system next, which is at the front of the truck. Right here at the air intake of the engine, 
We've got a manifold. This is the hydrogen manifold. There are four hydrogen, hydrogen injectors, two that you can see on this side, two are hidden around the back side. And that's where the hydrogen is injected. And again, it's controlled by the system which is inside the cab. The safety protocol with our system is such that uh, if there is an issue, whether it's an engine issue, which has nothing to do with us, a transmission issue that has nothing to do with us, or a chassis issue that has nothing to do with us, our system shuts down automatically as soon as there's a fault code that comes up with any part of the truck whether it's ours or whether it's Freightliners or Detroit Diesels. My name is Badr Abdul Jawad, uh, co-founded Hydra back in 2012. Um, the chief innovation officer at Hydra. My, uh, I guess my family comes from a background of heavy machinery and trucking and um, just being around that my entire life, wanted to basically decarbonize the trucking industry um, and thus Hydra Energy was born. Uh, now, um, I, I believe Joe had walked you through, so our, our um, uh, safety system is on the outside of the truck, from the, all the way from the tanks to the injectors. Um, I'll be talking a little bit our, uh, about our ECU and um, basically how you can visualize, how the driver can visualize everything inside the cab. Um, this is the, this is the uh, monitor, which basically tells you about the hydrogen system. Uh, it's uh, as easy as go on here and basically enable hydrogen mode, which um, has been activated now. And then we'll go back here. These are, you know, other measures we can see, uh, you know, uh, how much hydrogen is in the tanks, um, you know, in injector monitoring as well. Uh, so these are just other safety measures that we can see um, that's happening in the whole hydrogen system. Uh, when you go home here, you see how much hydrogen is being injected and that the hydrogen system is on. Um, the way the system works is that we, we have our uh, two ECUs. We have the, the tank ECUs to control the tanks and we have our injector ECU. Our injector ECU is the main ECU for our system and it it basically communicates with the tank ECU saying turn on the tank valves turn off the tank valves um, as Joe mentioned before if there is any detection of a any sort of leak or something is any of the hydrogen uh, parameters are off our system immediately basically turns off the system and the driver over here can see the current status hydrogen will be off Otherwise, you know, you can see how much hydrogen he has on here, how much hydrogen he's using. And that's, uh, I guess, the, the, the safety systems and the measures um, that the, the drivers can see inside. And um, again, if anything goes wrong, the hydrogen system just goes off. So as well, if he runs out of hydrogen, it will go off and the driver will continue on diesel. And um, if the system, you know, if any of the, the fittings are loose or anything else like that, and uh, the system detects, okay, there's uh, any type of leak, um, the system will turn off and the driver will just continue on diesel. So all the tank valves and everything will be shut off. The injectors will be shut off. And um, that's it. That's as easy as that. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mark. I'm the service manager at Diamond Mechanical and Refrigeration. We are the authorized repair facility and installation center for Hydra Energy. Uh, if you're looking for somewhere to get it installed, this is the facility that you go to. We are really excited for this announcement today and being a cleaner solution for tomorrow. If you have any questions on the Hydra system, give me a call at Diamond Mechanical. Hi, my name is Arlene Gagne, and I am the president and CEO of Lodgewood Enterprises here in Prince George. Today, I'm pretty excited. Here we are. We're here with the Hydra truck. So what that means for us is we're gonna be burning off some hydrogen that's injected into the diesel. It's going to be reduced greenhouse gases immediately. What that means for Lodgewood is we're starting to break into the tech world. The younger generation and those people who tend to forget about trucking in general. Trucking is so important in our world today. It's for transporting goods, it's for transporting equipment, supply, 
everything that we need in our day-to-day -day lives. So here we are with the truck. Uh, the big part for me was to make sure that this truck had everything that it needed so that the driver could just get in and get going, keep it simple, keep your downtime aside, stopping, fueling, all of that sort of stuff. Very important, it only takes six minutes to fuel this truck up with hydrogen. It's kind of less time than it takes to fuel the tanks. On this truck, we still have the diesel tanks, both sides, still holding the same amount of liters as we normally do. Uh, normally we would be traveling, you could travel a thousand kilometers, 1100 kilometers, no problem with the amount of um, diesel that we're putting in, about 800, 7, 800 liters would fill us up. Now with adding hydrogen, we're just gonna be going a lot further. We're gonna be filling these up two times to every one time of filling the hydrogen tanks, which is really cool. Uh, secondly, the way we did the design on the hydrogen tanks, they made it so that we can fuel on either side, which is fantastic because on this truck, you can fuel both sides of the truck, same thing. You do need to fuel both sides of the truck, but you don't have to fuel both sides of the hydrogen. So it doesn't matter which side you're choosing to do, or if you're using a satellite pump, works the same. So for me, it was about, okay, how am I gonna use this in everyday application? What's gonna make sense for my drivers? What do they do? My drivers go out on the highway, uh, they go off highway, they haul logs. They do all these things every day. Um, one of the things that we had talked about before was, you know, where are we gonna refuel these things? Well, we came up with a solution and we can fuel them up right here in our yard for now until we're starting to, or until we get our refueling station, which is coming, uh, set up so that other fleets are able to utilize it. So lots of connecting the dots still happens, but the neat thing for me and what got me involved was this was such a, a quick process to just rig this out. It becomes part of your rig out process and every trucking company has to do it. It doesn't take that long to just snap on Hydra's little outfit underneath the engine. It doesn't void any of my warranties. There's systems in place that can detect whether it's a Hydra fault or it's a Detroit Cummins cat doesn't matter what your engine is, it can detect which is the fault and it won't interfere with what's going on. So all of that was really important to me. We just made a huge impact today and uh, pretty excited to what the future is going to hold for this company.